Uh, John, this is the big one for you guys. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I think um, bringing in Ashton and um, what we know he's got, it adds a lot to the dynamic. Mm. And it's been exciting building up this one because we know what we've been doing in training yeah. and it's things we've not been doing in the past before in terms of splits, times um, and just all our performances. So it'll be exciting to see what happens tomorrow, yeah. Well, potentially, obviously, the UCI that we're changing the rules and everything, this could be the last World Cup you guys get the opportunity to do. What do you guys? What do you think you guys have brought to the World Cups over the years that you've been doing it? Three years? Um, hopefully, it's a fresh attitude towards it. Yeah. I think um, the equipment and the arms race um, seems to accelerate a lot since this team's been around. Yeah. Where how much of an influence they've had? If you look at the other bikes around the, the pits, Dan's equipment and uh, his his sort of uh, innovations are around to be seen everywhere. So he certainly had a lasting impact yeah. um, in terms of like our tactics and the way we race and the long turns and some of the strategies we've used, they're being employed elsewhere. Um, there's no way you could say, you know, any of this stuff is trademarked, but it's just interesting to see the development and how it's gone. And I think, yeah, a lot of people will have seen the influence from our team in track cycling. Well, I've never seen so many teams in the team for so riding so quick. I mean, when you started, what was there, maybe three or four? Yeah, I think, um, well, especially when they were turning up the first World Cups, if you're going under four minutes, mm. you're doing a good ride. Mm. And now, you know, to get in the finals, you have to go 350 or, in fact, there's now, I think there's six, six teams that have gone under 350, right. um, which, you know, even just last year wasn't realistic. I mean, people were looking at the, the Tokyo Olympics and going, well, 348, the Australians are going to walk that. And now you're looking at it and going, well, like, everyone's going to go 346. It's just uh, the, the end point and the ceiling hasn't been reached. And I'm not sure anyone quite knows where it is yet. For yourself, what has the team brought for you? Um, it's been a totally unique atmosphere and experience. Mm. In terms of uh, a lot of people when they go through life they'll leave school and go to university they enter this this new bubble of living on their own caring for themselves doing all this kind of stuff and um, it's almost a case of we've, we've almost done that as adults where there's no coach there's no team management it's us and we're just you know we die and live by live and die by our own decisions yeah. and um, so coming into this and having res responsibility in a sense and then um, realizing um, you know what as a group how the dynamic functions and then just touring the world and seeing all these different places and um, you know, meeting sponsors, meeting people, uh, the sports, uh, athletes and coaches and yeah, the whole thing has been a mad rush. Um, certainly if you look back at what's happened over the last year and a half, um, you do need to take a, a step back and think, wow, that's kind of, it's all been punched into one 18 month period, but it's a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll look back on it really fondly. I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask this before I forget it. Rider of the, domestic rider of the year. Right. So, where, where, I mean, road, track? Favourite? No? <laughs> uh, I think, uh, yeah, it was a real privilege to get something like, or be noticed for something like that. Um, I mean, it's not be all and end all, it's not something you strive for, but to have everything recognised and what you achieve, I think uh, yeah, it's a really nice touch and a nice feeling, so I'm grateful for people Well, like I remember talking to you a few years ago, and you, you were coming down from Scotland, and, you, and the road, you were going to work on the road. Mm -hmm. I know. And now, now, domestic rider of the year. I know. Um, I think a lot has changed since our, our last poach. I remember I did the, the points race at Track Nationals and uh, mm. I won that race and it was a real shock to me at the time. Mm. And uh, I was talking about how I was joined Rebel that year and I was going to do some primary calendars and I'd done one in the past and had my head kicked in and the whole experience was just, you know, out of this world. So to go down there now and feel confident about racing and not feel out of place and as though, yeah, I can I can make a go of this and, you know, win these races. Yeah. Um, it's been a huge change of mindset and I think, uh, it takes that to that, that leap of faith almost to have that confidence and um, mm -hmm. certainly I could have gone another year, another two years, another five years of being sort of sick at the back of the back going I don't belong here. Yeah. Um, but I think the people I've been surrounded with and certainly experience I've had this year of people with the right mindset and encouraging you in a way that um, just brings you on. Uh, it's always positive influences rather than negative ones and I think that's been part of the puzzle. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful for that. Well obviously tonight could be the highlight but so far What's been a highlight over the years that you've been involved in the team? Um, I think it, it, when it comes down to it, it was always, um, with the team, it was always the London World Cup. Yeah. So it was one we targeted all year. Um, we knew we had Ashton in for it. It was going to be the main goal was you know, to, win, to win that one World Cup. And then when it actually comes off and you pull it off, um, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a real great thing to have. <laughs> Tony was crazy eyes, you ever seen them? <laughs> this is what they look like. <laughs> Nothing more distracting. Love you, Joe. Love you too, Joe. A final question. The Aussies are here, they're on their home turf. Is that a nice little goal as well? 
I think so. And I think uh, they'll feel a lot, lot to prove after yeah. losing to Switzerland last week. Um, so we'll see whether that was a, a, something they messed up or whether they're not on form or whether it's... I, I doubt it's a, an expectation that they come here to lose. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be here to win and uh, it's always exciting for us as underdogs where we can go, you know what, on a good day, who knows what we'll do. And I think uh, we're in that position where we've been writing some splits where we think this could be real quick if we get it right. So hopefully, you know, we, we get a couple of shots. And you like this track? Have you done that coming games here? Yeah, it is different. Um, so the it's long bends and um, not a lot of throwback from the top of the track. So like things like changes are a lot different, and even the line we're riding on the track is um, different to what we've run in the previous sport cups. Uh, but we've been here for over a week and we've sort of acclimatised and got used to the track. And yeah, it's really nice to ride. The conditions here are rapid. Um, I think it's not just us. You know, we're not we're not imagining we're going to be the only ones going fast. There's going to be a lot of fast times tomorrow. I think.